I'm just hoping the stream don't lag. And it is. It's in the red. Fuck, you're going to have to watch the stream, man. Oop, we touch laggy. We make lagging, motherfuckers. All right, let's see. How do you like your games? Like climbing a mountain, fulfilling but takes a lot of work, like going on a hike, uh, good exercise but not too strenuous, you like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. No bitch, so we're doing the middle one. Are you... Oh, JK's still behind it. Are you five boulder, Chris? Oh, no. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. No shit. I oh this FPS looks so jank. I love it. It looks so scuffed and retro. Ooh, busted for the other members. Oh no. And it turned into uh shit. Also I need to move chat. Chat's in the wrong spot. There we go. That way you're not in the way of the screen. God, why is my weather so... Why is my internet being so ass? It's Mine was being ass earlier, too, so... I think it's the signal towers from T-Mobile or something. T-Mobile, stop sucking! Oh, boy. Dog bite! Yeah, this is gonna be a very jank stream. Let's just hope it doesn't affect the recording. Because if it does, I'm gonna be very sad. Copter. Looks dope. Enter the survival horror. Yeah, sure. Sure game. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Was well, this the first of its kind? <laughs> yes. We don't know where Chris is. Technically Alone in the Dark beat it to the punch, but Resident Evil popularized what it. What is this place? Wasn't that on GameCube Alone in the Dark? Not quite your ordinary. A pretty house, shitty one, but yeah. Sure. I think. Hey, Whisker. No, Alone in the Dark on GameCube, I think, was really good. Jill, no. Like, like, fuck with your TV. Don't want to go back. No, Eternal Darkness. But we've got to find. Oh. What was that? God, this. Alone in the Dark, no. THQ Nordic, came out in 1992 for the 3 really you fucking O oh, and MS DOS. What the fuck is GeForce now? I think you'd better take a look at this. You know, it could also be because of mine. Because I've been having weird connection issues the last few days. I think everyone has. Jill. I feel like it's also partly the hurricane that hit like the southern states that's fucking everything up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Verizon Cor was having a bunch of service issues this morning. We found a corpse. We found a corpse. Who knows what'll happen? I have no idea what's happening because I hear you talking on the. Uh other thing and i hear you talking to me like live here it's, oh god it's hurting your head hmm? yeah i'll probably need to go to walmart Just tomorrow stick to talking with chat my bit rate is i go at five thousand all the time that's the usual i do but it's been like i'm not gonna let you miss this scene because this scene is iconic so if you want to go back to Discord real quick. Dick Sword. Alright, I'm back on Dick Sword. Alright, this is the most iconic scene in the game. Uh, hang on. It's loading. Nah, it doesn't look that bad. I can see it. They're not even in the mansion yet. We're in the mansion. Nope. Fuck that. For a 40, for resolutions being 480p, it looks surprisingly great, right? And that's the first one. Hi. Come on. Is the first Zombo you run into? Yep. Surprised they never did like a free, like a free roaming camera in any of these remakes. It wasn't until RE2 remake when they started doing that shit. Let me take care of it. God, that shitty voice acting is they amazing. They keep the old jank voice acting. They redubbed it, but yeah, it's it's, it's amazingly jank, and I love it. They do that. They should have kept the original PS1 dub. Let's report this to Wesker. It's 
not but as... they kept the original script. No, they updated the script. Um, and they redone the redid the voice lines. But God, the original Please voice. Please tell line... me they kept Jill. Jill sandwich. sandwich. I do not know. I haven't got to that scene in my own playthrough yet. Essentially, they haven't kept Jill Sandwich, and that's the sin. I know it is a sin. Oh boy. You were almost a chill sandwich. It's iconic, isn't it? Okay, let's see. What else is here to be looking out for? Hmm. This door's better for in the hall first. Okay, cool. You remember uh the Shrek Smash Brothers clone that was on everything back then? Oh that thing sucked ass. Super slim. I liked it. Dude, dude, that thing was ass. Maybe now, but back then it was pretty fun. I don't know about that, brother. Very. You can still buy it on Xbox. <laughs> oh, it runs backwards compat on Xbox. Damn, still sells for a decent amount of money. 25 bucks for a used copy. Nice. That's awesome. Is that a PC port? Oh, I know this bench is gigantic, Barry. Okay. Yeah, we know it's gigantic. DS version? We've been having a streaming issue since Saturday. What the fuck is going on? Oh. Something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. Look, I'm gonna attempt fate again and put it at four thousand. I'm gonna attempt fate again. Cause it's been you going. Fate, but I don't believe in fate. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I make my own fate, as Corn would say over and over. I make my own fate. Proceeds to get fucking bodied by the first boss he sees. That'd be f that's funny. When did the Resident Evil 3 Master come out? The remake came out in 2020. Hey, Brad. And then they did four, which doesn't look as good as these ones. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. Looks like he's holding Kenneth! Oh no, not my boy, Kenneth. You're gonna <laughs> with and in the bathroom of this place. Oh no, I'll go comfort your wife when we escape from here, Kenneth. Oh, what are we gonna do without our boy, Kenneth? He told all the good jokes. He was our token black guy. We can't tell jokes token anymore. Not the token black guy. He tells all the I good jokes. To die in horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> and here he is on the floor, and he's the first corpse we meet. <laughs> Damn it! Way to continue a racist stereotype, Resident Evil. I'll be in November because I want to take my time with it. Oh hi! How you doing, buddy? You good? I was gonna stream it when it came out, but then I'm like, nah, I'll play Alien Isolation and we can play it like in November so I can take my time with it, you know what I, you know what I mean? Yeah, and allow this man to go through. Oh, okay, that's where JK's at. JK's at the Kenneth part. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey, On look Friday, we're finally just gonna do that Alien Isolation thing I've been teasing, but without any alcohol. That's being safe for Shinigami's birthday. Alright. Hey, look at- hey, hey, I'm gonna name you Bob. How you doing, Bob? You good? You good, buddy? That we also that and I also can't afford booze at the moment. So if you want to donate to the uh, to the uh, Shinigami and JPL booze f streaming booze fund, uh, send me a link. Send me some money at one two three fake Patreon account. Dude, if I can make a Patreon, dude, I need. They would be a pain <laughs> in the ass to manage. Uh, no, but if we ever do do an alcohol thing, I'll buy the booze. All right, hey, can't look at look. This zombie doesn't notice me yet. Fucking moron. Hey, you doing, buddy? will not be drinking though, because a he doesn't like booze, and two he's not old enough. That and also because of the bad experiences we had on stream. <laughs> that was so funny though. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> okay, maybe I was. Oh no, that wasn't Trop. That was Harris. I'm talking about hotels in Atlantic City. Never stay at Harris. They. Were you just singing? Are you alright, man? 
Holy shit, I think Shinigami actually might be drunk. Yeah? Are you actually drunk right now? No, I'm just fucking with you. Fucking tipsy. I don't think you were tipsy, I just think you were nervous. No, I was. That's all of us when we have our first drink? No, I was tipsy, because after that I just chilled out and I just like... No, you weren't, dude. I've been straight up fucking posted before. You were fine. I don't know. Was your head spinning? I felt dizzy for a bit. Okay, you might have been tipsy. No shit. I hope. I know we're gonna get a lot of good movies in 2025. I mean, this is good it's coming out in 2025, because Saw... The next Saw movie got delayed to 2026. Which, next good. Take your time on that. I like how Saw as a franchise just refuses to stay dead. It's like, we're alive again! We're doing this shit! Like, that- Dude, The last one was really, really good, though. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Dude, that franchise just refuses to stay dead, man. It just never stays dead. Nor does my morbid curiosity to see some guy- See some guy rip open his skull and fish a key out of there, but, you know. It's amazing, isn't it? I really want to know what those are. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the book of curses? I don't know. Should I take the book I'll, of cur? Should I take the book that's I'll called the book of curses? I'll motherfucking teach you how to make booze. JK, I welcome the challenge, my Aussie brethren. Hey, question. Should I take the book book that's called the book of curses? It sounds normal. Uh, it sounds like a noob crap item. All right. You use the sword key. Let's go. We found a room that we can go through. Let's go. Oh, uh, William Bloodworth. Oh boy, this looks this looks sketchy. I got ammo. Yep. I know oh, Tony Todd was the name of the guy. Look at that—a room of rotten. I'm rotten. also lagging more harder again. Oh boy. Ah. You're McLaggin again? Well, as long as you can see the stream, I don't mind, but... Oh, God almighty, why is my internet sucking? I wonder if we can get away with, like, streaming and critiquing some of the Final Destination movies if we talk over them. Oh, boy. Hey, zombie dude. Uh... I don't think so, right? They would nah. still nail us for copyright? Maybe. We can't show them. Show, and then they found the island. Dude, Zombie Island was the first movie as a kid that ever scared me. And I used to love Scooby-Doo. I still do. Yeah, I something out of the VHS Scooby Doo movies, which is Ghost is the best. Yeah, but then there's that video and game. I'll tell one. you one reason why that movie's the best. Why? Hex Girls. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> tell me you wouldn't see a uh, goth girl band that are also hippies. Tell me you wouldn't. I think one of my favorite ones is where like, uh, do you, you know that one Scooby Doo movie with where they were like. Going with the chupacabra on the Indian Indian chick. Oh, that one was good. There's no fucking way Shaggy did not smash. Dude, Shaggy fucking fucks, man. <laughs> Every movie he always <laughs> hangs out with like one of the female protagonists. Every time, you can't tell me this man doesn't. Fuck. He has game, like bro. Spencer from my Carly. He ha you he can't tell me in the middle of the movie he's not bringing these women to the back of the mystery machine and just having the most. Awesome of sex. You I think it and well, Scooby watches. You can't tell me that I, he's not. I think that Indian chick was probably my favorite one because it's like they're both hippies. They both get along so well, and it's like, bro, have these two date, and then they say she's an Indian, which is like, and then she says she's an alien. And Wait, I'm like, are you talking about the alien one? Where like she it said she was an alien, and I'm like, fuck. Oh. You know, if you plug that DVD into a computer, it actually activates a hidden uh, animation on your computer. It activates an animation on your computer. That's pretty cool. That is. Uh, it has uh, the aliens going around on hover bikes and then like Shaggy running away. It was pretty cool for the 90s. But man, bro, that was like the perfect ship. Like, come on, man. Why can't you just give Shaggy a bone? He had game. Also, I. Why do I feel like you're gonna subtitle that entire rant I just went on? Oh, oh I am. <laughs> I welcome it. We just fucking Photoshop a picture of Shaggy in his underwear, just ready to go at it. 
Duty has game. There's a reason in Mystery Incorporated they made that a whole thing where it's like he that where he like um he, despite him being who he is, he always has game. Like you, dude, which is ghost? He's literally like oogling the hex girls. Fucking the alien movie is hanging out with that chick you just mentioned. I'm pretty sure in the Hawaii movie he banged the uh, toll booth operator chick. And then I. Uh, fucking crazy, yeah. Yet I don't like Japanese alcohol. It's my, my username. Okay, turn off the internet yep, on my Japanese, PlayStation. So Japanese alcohol is so alcoholic, it tastes like cleaner. I turned off the internet on my PlayStation, it should, should help with the signal. Like, you literally feel like you're drinking cleaner. Because it smells like clean. I mean, isn't that the point? It smells like shit. Like, rice wine is pure fucking liquor, man. Then again, I probably got the cheap stuff. That's probably why. Apparently the expensive stuff is, like, gourmet and really good. But I'm not paying $100 a bottle for fucking sake. That's understandable. I mean, no sane person would. Like, we get it. Like, shipping costs a lot. But Jesus Christ. Yeah, that penis joke is like the one joke that actually got me in that show besides the dog and romper reference. Which, speaking of which, we're never playing Zeki Zero on either of our channels. I haven't planned on it, so... Thank God. I don't want to play dog and romper at some point, though. Or at least V3. Yeah. Well, either way, Alvaro Ortiz, welcome to the stream. Even though you're probably going to hear this like 10 minutes later. Oh, shit! What was that? Oh, this is the one where the dog comes through the window. I think. I know this scene. You're going to go back there and you're going to get attacked by a hellhound. I've seen this. Oh, uh, dude, this is almost like iconic jump scare in gaming. What do you expect? I like how this game has like this one scene that solidified jump scares as a horror trope in gaming. And it's just the funniest thing to me. Because it's like... A random scene about a dog jumping out of the window was the scariest bit in the game. Or one of the scariest bits in this game. Oh yeah, I forgot! Silent Hill 2 Remake comes out in a couple days! Oh shit. Yeah, it does. Oh shit. Man, they timed it for October. Oh shit, look at that! Hey, Fido, how you doing? Let me shoot you the whole point oh I think wait is this the room oh my god it's the Jill sandwich room yay chill sandwich but not Jill no Jill hey, sandwich change that dialogue or I'm a sue you finished this game knife only the other day Albert Jesus Christ now that is some severe autism right there dude here's the thing RE1 is iconic for multiple things it's very iconic in the speedrun community very iconic it's you get an achievement for doing it knife only? Yeah. Oh, is this game meant to be replayed, I assume? A lot. You can't care anymore. Fuck! I forgot this game likes to do that! Oh, they do more than come back. Anyway, I was gonna say, uh... So, Jack Black's first appearance was actually in a horror movie, like, in a, as an actor, and it was a sequel of what I Know What You Did Last Summer. Because I still know what you did last summer. Of course he did. After all, he still knew what happened last summer. Of course he did. What do you think? I mean, he wasn't the one who... He didn't even do the whole... He didn't even do anything. Like, he, he was, was innocent, but he still died. He was just a random extra. He was just he was just there to be killed. You know, like most early actors in horror movies. Oh, let me guess. He was a no-name actor? Yeah, he was, like, there to be the crazy maintenance dude at the hotel. Yeah. Um, he had to go out of Spencer Energy back then. Like Guy Carly. Nice. Now, Can we get Jerry Trainer more movies, please? I still like how the fact that ever since he was announced to be Steve in the Minecraft movie, that man immediately lost any goodwill, bro. <laughs> you know, people are saying, like, the latest trailer it makes it look not that bad. I'm like, what about this makes it look not that bad? <laughs> oh, I mean, that's I'll funny. give it the benefit of the doubt and give it a rental like I did Monster Hunter, but I'm not going to enjoy it, probably. Here's the thing. Monster Hunter was at least a popcorn movie. How the fuck do you make a movie about Minecraft, of all things? Dude, I feel so cock-blocked with Monster Hunter. They tease this awesome-ass, like, fucking fight toward the end of it with the Wyvern, with the, uh, Rathian. Guess what we didn't get? A Rathian fight. 
Yeah! It just fucking freeze framed. I feel so cock blocked. Like there was barely any monster hunting in that movie. They they didn't even need they didn't even use proof of a hero, and that's what pisses me off. What do you mean? The theme song, for fuck's sake. The monster hunter? Yeah. I don't know what a theme song. I thought it had a different music for every game. No, like the theme song was only like <laughs> Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, it, it's like the kind of movie your dad would see on an action movie shelf despite not knowing anything about video games and would just buy it because it's an action movie. Yeah, pretty much. I know much. that for a thing because my dad used to do that all the time. He bought Tomb Raider because of that. Dog without risking a serious mauling. Oh, it was one of those dogs. Did I ever tell you at the time I found my dad's porn collection? That's funny. I was like 16. And guess what he wa Guess what he had? What did he Sexy have? Sexy nurses. You're married to one. Why do you need that necessarily? I mean, maybe he just wanted to look up ideas for one to have you. Maybe. I have no idea, man. Which means that's my mom in a nurse costume hanging around somewhere that I didn't know about. I should ask her that actually. She'd probably tell me. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Wait, the fuck you just say to me? He coming. He's a coming. His autistic ass is coming. He's a coming. He's a coming. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's here. She gaslit me. She, she gaslit you? At first she said yes, had me believing it, and then she's like, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Guess where I found that same DVD too? It was when I moved into the garage when I was like 18. And it was just sitting on my dad's old Atari shelf, which, if it was restored, would be worth $20,000. Then why not restore it? Was it was an Atari store shelf. Of course. Fucking course. I would restore it, but none of the parts are available anymore. Ain't that some shit? Yeah, there she gets. <laughs> dude, she gets. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude? That's scuffed. As much as I complain about like the modern gaming sphere, a lot of like game companies from around the globe are able to like showcase their stuff now. It's very good for entertainment. It's great. And as we can see right now, Hollywood don't give a shit. Yeah. I like how so many, after the success of the Sonic movie, Hollywood is just like wanting to get into the gaming, like, get back into making licensed game movies and give them a proper budget. Like, wait, we can do that again? I need to watch the Mortal Kombat movie. Was it animated or live action? I don't Li remember. Live action. It's, a de it's decent. It's a very much a, it's very much a popcorn movie. Very, very much a popcorn movie because the story is I dog shit. it was shit. really good, though. The story is dog shit, but the fights are amazing. Are you sure? Because I heard it was really good. No, it's it it's 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 really really has a lot of problems, but it boy, the graphics for this were terrible. This looks amazing. Yeah. Also, yeah, Jill. Um, un oh god, unclog <gasps> the tub. That's probably what the zombie in there that drowned. Okay, time to start that shotgun. Jill, move away! Don't let the zombie grab you. Oh no! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Well, he she just stomped his head in. Jill, you've seen corpses throughout the mansion. You shouldn't be throwing up right now. You know what's I find funny that Resident Evil made a habit of that's still being used to this oh, day. What? It's that res survival horror has made it my seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you. Here I am offering you my precious time, and you waste it by running around. Oh, playtime is over. How fortunate for you. My instinct that if you're ever getting a good, if you ever have any good weapons on you, never waste it on regular enemies. Only use it on the Albert Wesker. Oh He's shit! Hey guy. Wesker! Hey Wesker! How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How you doing, Wesker? You, you trying to kill Chris still? Wesker. 
Oh, dude, I miss his voice, man. I don't know if he's retired, but I think he has like a website. I miss Wesker's VA. What are we talking about? Oh, uh, Wesker. Main villain of the RE series, still five. Which, bro, oh. if we can, both of us need to get a copy of RE5 and we're playing that shit multiplayer. RE5 is usually dirt cheap nowadays. We can both get a copy. We're playing that shit co-op. Because it's glorious when you play co-op that game. There's a reason, like, RE5 is considered one of the best survival horror co-op games. Shockingly, right? <laughs> this is the only time we're gonna kill a dog, so... I need to prepare. I need to go to the Terrence. Uh, where was it again? Check the files. It feels really generic. I see what people mean by that game feeling really generic. What do you mean? Like a very generic MMO for you, yeah. Oh, I know where that is. Okay. But do you know or do you think you know? Okay then, Wesker. How are you able to top? How are you able to type? After all, we did turn you see you turn into an eel monster. By the way, how's Ada? I heard she backstabbed you in four. I like how we're just RPing. Listen, just because I'm an eel monster doesn't mean I don't want to feel like you asshole. I like how we're RPing right now. <laughs> Yeah, how's Ada? I heard she backstab. I heard she backstabbed you in four. Are you all right? No, I mean my feelings are really hurt. Like I had to call ambulance and everything. It was bad, man. <laughs> Fucking stupid, man. Bro, this guy got to the Jill sandwich room last. I know. I'm aware. Wait, did I miss the Jill sandwich? No, I think you saw it. I think. Apparently, someone. You're almost a chill sandwich. God, it's some. I like how some of those actors then went on to do some more voice voice work. I think the voice of Chris went to do like, I don't know if he was Dracula and Symphony of the Night or he was someone else. Because I know I know one of the RE actors though from the OG game went on to voice a character in Symphony of the Night. I know what one of them- What do you think would be on a Jill sandwich? I feel like it'd be like one of those fucking Karen sandwiches, where it has like just all pickles and all like fucking toppings and like no meat to speak of. You only get the sandwich just, like, if you get there first eating. after getting the first key. Ah, oh, fuck! We missed it! <laughs> what did we miss? Oh, uh, we were supposed we to get- the Jill sandwich scene? Yeah, we missed it. You only get the sandwich if you go there first after getting the first key. Fuck! No, I resaved over it. We're too late. <laughs> you motherfucker! Am I just being dumb? Right, let's check something. Blew the dog whistle. Oh! Bad dog. Oh boy, I need some healing. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh boy. There's nothing in here. Healing! Hi! There are green herbs growing here, but there's only enough for a few uses. Use them? Yeah, treat your wounds. Nice! Alright, time to ch examine this thing. There's a switch. Should we press it? Yes. Oh, hello. A coin was hidden inside the collar. What are you? Nothing unusual. It changes the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. Shaped like a key, but lacks the rigidity to be used as one. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Did I ever tell you the story how I got into this series? I don't think I have. Um, I remember as a kid back when I used to own a PS2. I didn't have a PS3 at the time because, well, um, I don't think my parents knew what the PS3 was a thing. So, essentially what ended up happening is that I had a PS2 for the longest time. And my uncle bought a PS3. And what he d would do is that we would be playing RE5. Actually, no, before that, that's the, that's the other one. 
Oh, yeah, now I remember. I was literally at my cousin's house. Me, we meet every now and then. Me and him would just hang out, just chill out, just be playing and gaming. And what we would do is that if we were bored, we would boot up the RE5 demo and just sort of play through it. And let me just say this, that demo genuinely scared the shit out of me as a kid. And when I, and I thought I would never play the series again. That, until I went to my other cousin's house. Oh, are we already in that like underwater chamber with the octopus? No. And I went to my other cousin's house and he had a copy of RE4 on the PS2. And let me just say this. That basically confirmed my suspicions to never buy this series. Because of the fact I saw Mr. Um, uh, Dr. S Dr. Salvador cut off Leon's head and saw the head flop on the ground, and I immediately panicked and left the room and just almost shit my pants. And Wait, what yeah, about this guy is dying or something. I'm um, telling him how I first started got into RE RE as a series. I was say, Jesus, guys, all I I forgot to take my meds. I'm not dying. It's not like it's cancer medication. It's fucking off doesn't medication. Yeah, and essentially. Yeah. And, no, and then, like, me. a few years later, after I got my first PS3, my uncle bought a PS3 as well, and he got a copy of RE5. And in order to goad me into watching him play in the game and playing the game for myself, he would basically scare the shit out of me by basically by making me play the game. And he would essentially, like, have me in a bear hug. And just make me watch him play RE5, which that game scared the <laughs> shit out of me. I don't even want to mention, like, my first console or whatever that I played on. My first console wasn't a console. It was a uh, Windows 2000 PC, and then after that I got a Game Boy. And what ended up happening is that... I think after I ended up playing RE5 for a bit, I got used to the series. And what I ended up doing is that, like, you know what? You play a fucking old. You know what? I'ma just bite the bullet. I'ma overcome my fear. And I borrowed my and I borrowed my co co uncle's copy of RE5. And I overcame my fear. It also helped. I watched a bunch of RE1 and 2 playthroughs. You ever heard of Salazar Productions? Essentially, they used to do a lot of old RE game movies, where like they edit the edit the games in a way that made it feel like a movie and that's essentially what got me further into this rabbit hole of a series and after that I bit the bullet and bought RE, uh, my own copy of RE6 which I spent a lot of hours playing with my cousin and also RE Revelations for my 3DS which I have a video on that game I can link it easily I love revelations to death it's my personal favorite I wish it got a remake because it's so awesome no I don't think we do we have a family view because I'm curious I want to play that again we, whoever take this emblem find peace and death I'm aware take the mansion key yes I know what to do here because I got the key because I'm not an idiot Fun fact, I it bought this- It Bethesda's answer to Assassin's Creed. Fun fact, I bought this game for the Wii, the Archives version, and, um... This part had me stumped, because I had no idea what to do. And I died here God knows how many times, because I never could figure it out. I love how Bethesda had their own launcher for a while, and then they said, fuck it, we're using Steam. <laughs> because they didn't feel like updating the launcher. Me every time. I didn't feel like Dude, I feel like Dishonored 2 got buried under the rubble, and I don't know why. That well, game looks incredible. Along with Prey 2017, but for, for some reason no one seems to care about Prey 2017, even though it's awesome. But that game just got buried underneath of rubble, and it's a shame because it looks really... Like, it was designed to compete with Assassin's Creed Black Flag at the time. Yeah. 2016. Yeah, sorry for the lag fest. Wesker. It's just been like this since Saturday and we don't know why. Let's see, where do I remember we needed to go? Though, if we ban Rule 34, this means fucking war. If I need my anime porn. <laughs> oh. You keep reminding us that you're a weeb, even though you see you barely watch anime nowadays. I haven't been because I can't find anything good, and I'm waiting for see for the next season of Beast Stars, which is in December.
Listen, JK understands. How else is he gonna J.O. to his Tommy mommy? Yeah. Which, by the way, I hope you like teachers because after we're done with Nove with this with this month, get ready for some uh, three houses. Which, oh no, I think the stream just died. Yeah, it's dead on my end too. I don't know what happened. Oh no, we're back. Is dying. Yeah, I think the stream is dead. It just has no data on it. Please. Can people just like click on my channel and chat and get there? Yeah. Like, do I, do I really need to link? That's it. Not necessarily. Nah, I just did it. It didn't like. You can link me. the stream, huh. but. I'm just gonna link my. People should know where to go. I'll just start setting that up. Yeah, go go start setting it up. I'll go find a safe point. It's gonna take a hot minute. Beverages. <laughs> You misspelled be just type? You misspelled be because you put beverages. That's my aunt, dude. My phone is retarded. <laughs> I that on stream. Uh, once I think that I think because YouTube thinks it's an accident, so maybe once. And if I do get anything, well, I know who to blame. I know who to blame. Damn it. Uh, no, my phone is stupid. Like the autocorrect always glitches out. Same with mine. Like, the meme where iPhone replaces fuck with duck, it's just, like, it's true for a reason. I'm just still setting stuff up. I want to find a creepy little alien background. Yeah. Uh, well, you can have, like, a wait I still screen. I your chat to... What? You, yeah, you can go to my chat. I haven't stopped streaming yet. Oh, okay. Because I need to... Link this here. Um, good luck with the alien. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna delete the Persona One vids because I don't think I use those anymore. I like my thing, right? Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, damn, my internet's just being bad in general. Oh shit, there we go. Hold on. Uh, Alright, hold on. I'm going to your channel. Alright. Dude, the unnecessary amount of detail they put into this game is amazing for 2014. Oh, you are live. Well, let's go! Alright, share that. Copy that. Can I just say that? The unnecessary amount of detail is incredible. There we go. Copy that. You're good. Alright. See y'all that... later. Bye bye. Where? See you on Thursday. Over here. Should I activate my webcam? Yeah, oh. 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 Oh.